Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Practice project ideas. Currency converter. Today we are going to present you a live demonstration of offline currency converter using Java Swing Graphical User Interface API. Before we get into the demonstration, let's see what are the features and how does it work and what all requirements we are going to use and need it during the implementation. Features, we have to list down all the currencies available all over the world in a drop down for input. User can select the currency from to two conversion and a button will be there which will compute the conversion that, that will calculate the conversion of the currency. A text box for display the result an offline or desktop application you can integrate it in an online when you uh, for that you need uh, to have the Yahoo or any specific web server who uh, provide the API for connecting to the finance services and exit and quit file menu for uh, exiting from that application using or you can use the button how does it work all you need to choose the currency from to two and convert it into the target currency convert and display the converted values implementation for a graphical user interface you need a frame a window and you need button to compute and the text wheel which will display or which will provide user to uh, enter the number of the currency action listener for mouse event implementation and the properties for global variables declaration here we are going to use number of uh, currencies you can see here euro usd indian rupee or any kind of other country currency so what we can do we can use the switch cases whenever user select one particular currency with respect to that it will available and calculate the values of their uh, respective targeted currency so this is how we are going to implement it that's the concept behind it now let's see a uh, design this type of application can be implemented number of ways here it's one of the way where we have made it in a more structured and organized form what we are going to do here we are going to have a main window a main window will start the layout it's not a main method it's layout about Java which will have the about window features or uh, whatever you want to include it and display and any interactive you want to include in that particular Java file currency converter is the main method where we are calling all other uh, classes and objects here properties will include the declaration of global variables currency Java will have the currency declaration and JTEX file limit will have the file text field and labels mentioned in it now if you see the demonstration there are two ways we have implemented here one is this way where we just showing the number of currencies in this form has some file menu bar and a file and help which will display the complete license and other information of this particular application now we have the convert the source or from currency if you click on this it will display the list that is in a drop down box and to target uh, currency and amount if you click on the convert it will display the converted values similarly there is another application what will happen here it's just the same the difference here is you can exit from the button or here you can exit from the menu bar and this will have some customized look and feel this is just a swing graphical user interface in the simple form that you can implement it in this also is just that another kind of display so there's so many ways you can implement currency converter now let's take a look at the demonstration so this is my eclipse ide and here is my application currency converter demo as you can see the main window if you see the source code it has the uh, property files where we have declared all kind of variables like this so from here you can declare all the variables and call it in your main method or entire application it's globally defined now 
If you see here, we have JPanel and JTEXT field and Aurelius to currency in declaration and uh, all kind of uh, global variables is defined in this form. If you see main window main file text, you can find out here main window main file text. So here is the static values of global values which is defined that you can use it anywhere in your application. So this is how the main window has created. Now if you see the main window and then we have about window just like this in about window you can see uh, you can mention all the title the author details and uh, any link you have or any other specific uh, mention you want to mention the information the license and versions and uh, any other kind of information you want to include about this application you can have it in your about window now JTEX field limit will contain only your type of uh, method uh, where we have uh, just a document which is mentioned the limit of the text file which is in the upper case and uh, other kind of details you can mention it here now if you see the currency.java file this will have the getter and setter values and in the switch cases so what will happen here as you can see we have mentioned it in an array list and then it is mentioned in the defined in a hash map where uh, we mapping the values the key values you see here setter and getter method we can use it and uh, in the switch cases when the user is select the USD or US dollar then it will convert into automatically it will calculate it and when you click on the source that will display the values so this is how the implementation has done you can see here and we have the main method included here so you can you can see here UI manager this is a look and feel you can change it if you want you can see the options here and uh, let's execute and see how it works since it's a Java application so this is what my TechCrunch currency converter the file here you can see the quit so instead of another separate button in another application you have your menu included as an quit now about so this is what the details of your application versions and author and link you can directly reach from here and uh, so if you click on this you can see the list of other kind of uh, currencies for from currency to convert suppose I wanted to convert from euro to Swiss and I give some values 100 and this will be calculated like this or you can change it to Chinese to France Swiss or US to Swiss so you see this is what the currency converter application now this is one of the way we can implement it there is another way you can implement it and this is mentioned here if you see the source code in this source code we have used a combo box just like that we have done we have implemented the interface of action listener because we are going to have some action event handling in this application money currency converter version 1 we have these type of currency converter and what we are doing here we are just uh, in, uh, calling the method convert to and uh, if you see the execution so this is its execution you can change other colors too if you want you can see here I'll show you the colors this is the color you can change it to cyan or gray So do you see you see the difference here we have the exit button instead of menu 
and uh, this is the list of the currencies you wanted to convert from to two and I mentioned some values and this will compute like this so I, I'll do one thing I'll uh, excuse me I'll just have another color of this because this is not good it's hard to see then okay now you can see here the US dollar Philippine and uh, USD so in case if I convert here as for this conversion and this will give me this much converting values so this is what the currency converter offline in impl application implemented in Java swing graphical user interface API thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and in case of any kind of assistance and source code needed please contact techcrunch2019 and gmail.com and stay tuned for more upcoming interesting informative session and live demonstration on java based application let's make coding fun thank you